Hello to our friends in Shreveport, Louisiana. My name is Philip Rulo with RuleTract, and I wanted to quickly go over the difference between the generation post and post clamp that you have at your facility and the next generation that we have available. Uh, many years ago when this was designed, mattress pads were not quite as thick, patients weren't quite as large, and this area here was actually very efficient in providing additional space for the patient's shoulder and arm. Uh, through the years as the patients got larger and the mattress pads got taller, this moved up. So now it's not quite as effective if it's set up how it's supposed to be. It can still be very efficient and work adequately. But we did make this design change for two reasons. First of all, we wanted to provide additional space for the patient's shoulder. We also wanted to provide additional heights because when you have a large barrel chested patient, you need additional height. So with this new design, you can see that we were able to achieve significantly more space here. So you can have a larger patient. It won't matter how high they are up on the mattress pad or how far over they are. Uh, this was about our limitation because we didn't want to move the retractor too far away from the center of the table. Um, as it stands, what you would want to do or make sure that you have in this tray <laughs> I'm out of space, sorry. Uh, you would want to be sure that you have the extender bar because you have these in all of your trays as far as I could tell or a majority of them at least. And this extender bar obviously is going to extend the retractor out over the center of the table. If your patient's larger, the sternum of the patient is going to be further away from the retractor. So you're going to want to be sure to have the extender bar. Now because your hospital is uh, recently used the Simplicity Service Program to bring all of its retractors into compliance. Your rule track ratchet assembly as well as your rake plate are all essentially brand new. So you don't need to replace those. What you would want to do is either just set up one tray and call it the obese patient or large patient rule track. Make sure that in that tray you have the taller post and the post clamp as well as an extender bar. Uh, and you may want to purchase another ratchet just to set up a whole tray for obese patients. The other option obviously is to purchase these uh, for all of your trays. The problem is these are spline connectors and your retractors that you have in house <laughs> are square tip. So you can see here that's a square tip that connects to a square post in post clamp the new larger patient population has a spline connection so you can't mix these two. Although this is not a good example because it's not the newer generation. However, take my word for it, the new ones, they do have a spline tip. Your old ones have a square tip. So you're going to need to purchase the lowers as well as the uppers. You can purchase them for all of your trays or you can just purchase one set and set up a rule track large patient tray. Sorry for that long-winded explanation. I hope it helped. If you have questions, <laughs> which I'm sure you probably will at this point, uh, please email, call, or text me. Uh, first of all, thank you for the decades of uh, support, and thank you very much for uh, getting your equipment uh, compliant and safe for use. We appreciate that very much. Have a nice day.